known as the Silicon Valley of India. One would expect Bengaluru's cybersecurity measures to be top notch. However, that's not the case. According to the Cybercrime Department in Bengaluru, the city residents lost around 470 crore rupees. That's close to $57 million to cyber fraudsters in just nine months. Starting from January 2023 to September 2023, it's all happened within this year. Of the 470 crore rupees, that's $56.5 million, the police were successful in recovering over 28 crore rupees, which is approximately $3.3 million. Now, to date, more than 27 crore rupees has been returned to the complainants. That's $3.24 million. The police also froze over 201 crore rupees of the total sum, which is $24 million. And on average, the victims lost more than 1.71 crore rupees daily to different types of cyber crimes. That is close to losing around $205,000 on a daily basis. Now, starting January, over 12,600 cyber crime cases have been reported in the city. Most cases were related to online job fraud followed by debit and credit card fraud. And as per the cybercrime department in Bengaluru, the city has seen a 25% rise in financial fraud cases in just one year. Now, according to the Bengaluru cybercrime data, most number of people fell prey to fake online jobs. The victims lost a staggering 204 crore rupees. That's $24.5 million to these online job scams. To date, the Bengaluru police have frozen 73 crore rupees out of this amount. Now, meanwhile, around 7.6 crore rupees, which is $913,000, have been returned to the job scam victims. And that's not all. The Silicon City also reported 277 cases related to loan apps, 195 Bitcoin fraud cases and 84 sextortion cases during this period, resulting in a total loss of nearly $2.8 million. Now, the police have managed to recover around 74 lakh rupees from the total amount around $89,000. Moreover, 58 lakh rupees, that is $69,000, have been returned to the affected individuals. Now, the new alarming data not only highlights the distribution of cyber crimes, but also underscores the need for a more stringent, stringent digital safeguarding policy to combat such threats.